right, so our shocks have arrived. We got some FOA custom built shocks. Uh, they're pretty sick. I'm excited about them. They got the external reservoirs. Uh, these are the 2.0 remote reservoir coilovers from FOA. Front shocks, which are these, they have um, compression valve is light, the rebound valve is extra light. On the rear, they're light and light. So compression valve is light, the rebound valve is light. So we got 450 pound springs and 300 pound springs for the rear shocks. And for the front shocks, we have 600 and 400. Well, we're supposed to have 400. They accidentally sent us, sent us another set of 300s. Uh, so they are making that right, but we're gonna go ahead and test these out because it's so quick to change <coughs> shocks out uh, on these FOAs. I know what you're thinking. Why would we have lighter springs on the rear of the buggy than on the front? Because the rear does have the diff, the engine and all that. It's because of the angle of the shock. Uh, on front, I think we're at a 35 degrees angle, and on the rear, we're like at a 10 degrees or something. That makes a massive difference on how uh, softer or stiff your suspension is going to be. So that's why our shocks are lighter on the back. It's because they're more straight up and down. Can you get that? Uh, we're going to go ahead and put one together. We're going to start with this one. I've already got it extended out. I did pay extra to get the 90 degree uh, turns going to the reservoirs. And for the bump stops, I think that was like a total of $15, I don't know, a piece extra. So so originally we used those Monroe helper coilovers. So they wasn't designed to be standalone coilovers, and, but they was really good to mock it up because it turns out these FOA, they basically built these shocks exactly the length of those. It's got the same diameter. They actually got heim joints in there. That is sick. Then they come with these little high misalignment spacers kind of once I put the spacer in each side of the uh, tabs it's the same thickness as those Monroe's was so they made it completely custom for this buggy that's awesome I will definitely use FOA uh, from now on because it was so it was afford not affordable you know it was expensive <laughs> let's face it it was $1,300 for this um, but and we do have maybe some FOA bump stops gonna be going on this buggy they're pretty sweet I bought these through one of their dealers Dave's off-road Supply, he's a great guy. You need to contact Dave if you have any question with shocks. And if you want to purchase shocks, uh, go through Dave's off-road. He's a good guy. He gave me 10% off on this order. Uh, so this is by no means a sponsored video. This is a very expensive video um, to make. But without further ado, let's put this together. So these are double spring uh, coilovers. So first, we're gonna put our small spring on. We got the first spring on. Then you're going to take this and put the longer side into the um, top spring. I'm going to slide this big daddy on. Okay. Now, take this little top hat and we'll slide it on. Then we can basically tighten up our preload until we basically have no movement in the springs. You're not trying to preload it any right now, but we just want to get that gap going. That's basically how quick it is to put these together. And then of course, we're gonna get them uh, filled with nitrogen in an off-road shop very soon. But uh, they say it's better to test them on the buggy, your spring rates without nitrogen, because uh, you're gonna see how much work the spring is actually doing. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Good, so it didn't matter either way. <laughs> hey, that's actually way easier. When me and Becca did it, it was like insanely hard. So I'll hold it. Yeah, I'll just set it right there to do. Hey, it's a joke. Becca could probably walk Braxton in a uh, what are we talking lifting competition? Five. Just five. <laughs> I don't know about it because I'd be behind her, punching right square in the mouth. <laughs> Thank you. 
Why? Sometimes you gotta use a project to help you with your other project. <laughs> <laughs> reason we have only the single the bottom shocks on is because uh, there was a mistake and I think it was because we worked this whole shock deal out over a few weeks uh, but we basically got too long of a shock setup these was 30 and a half inches where the old Monroe's that I basically built this front end around in the back end was uh, 27 and a half from eye to eye so FOA is gonna make it right their customer service can't stress enough they have helped us even though this uh, obviously wasn't our fault, uh, they're completely understanding. They're sending out a new set of shocks that's going to fix our problem. A great company to work with, and they're a lot more affordable than other brands like King and Fox. So we just uh, installed them. We basically shortened the throw of the shock with the uh, preload and just put the lower shock, uh, spring on. So now we'll get probably the next video you see on these uh, shocks, we'll be putting the actual springs on them. We got the CVs lengthened. This side we have not sleeved over top of it yet, but it is lengthened. And uh, we need to pull the CVs apart now and install the boots. So that'll happen. And we have a Briggs Vanguard just sitting on there just as a, a weight tester. We're gonna add some weights here and there on it uh, just to get our weight where we need it to see how much these springs sag when I'm in the buggy. So make sure to check out the links in the video description where you can get this Go Power Sports billet uh, quick release this thing is super high quality and their steering wheels as we stated uh, we've used like aftermarket knockoff aftermarket steering wheels around the $30 mark and they'll actually bend really easy where these go power sports are super strong so make sure to check out those links we also got the rear pulley we got some three quarter inch heim joints go power sports does stock the real high quality heim joints um, so if you're trying to do something like a semi independent or make your own a-arms go power sports does have some really nice quality pieces so make sure to check out those links the links for these shocks are down below everything we use on this build thank you guys for watching we love you and god bless